Okay, hey, uh, plastic people. So today we're going to work on the uh, mini afterburner. And from here, this just links back over to the V0 uh, dock. So I've got the 0 0.1 pulled up. I've got the heat sets already done in uh, these. I did not do these. I didn't even print them out. Uh, they weren't part of the salad fork uh, STL list. So wasn't too awful worried about them. Uh, the strain relief, I think, is also has these pieces. They don't take long if I need to reprint them anyway. So let's get uh, moving on this. I've already got the bearings lubricated. I actually am using the BMG gears from my 2.4 uh, where I upgraded from the afterburner to stealth burner. I just bought a, a new set of them for the stealth burner so I could build it all and then swap it rather than having to pull everything out and doing it. And they were already hardened steel gears. The ones I replaced them with were already hardened steel gears and the kit came with normal gears. So now I'll have hardened steel in here and be able to print the more abrasive stuff without having to worry about my gears going bad as well. So let's move on to, let's do this one. I've also got the uh, zero filter. We'll go through some of that after this. Uh, and then the belts as well. And then we'll do that, at, we'll do the belt, belts last. I forgot to put the can board in the other day when we were doing the electronics. So now we'll have the can board to put in. I'm just gonna VHB it, I think, to the, to the panel. There's not room on the, on the rails for that one. So let's get this going. And we're going to need uh, BMG gears. And this part here. And I put everything up here that we'll need. So this is going to go in here. want to make sure that it's uh, fairly even on that. I don't want much sticking out on either side. Sometimes I got to push on it with my screwdriver. Sometimes you can just get it lined up and then pushed in. And it moves nicely. Looks like it got some grease in there. Spins well, that's good. This piece is already assembled. Looks like I can clean that out while I've got it out of the printer. Got a few things cooling off in there for later, including a new one of these. This didn't print out the best. This, I, since the touch screen doesn't fit, I've got a couple of these 12864s. Uh, so this is a 12864 mod for the V0. Figure I'll use it, at least for the time being, until I can figure out how to get that touch screen uh, in a good way or get some extended feet so I can put the touch screen in there. I think I had this a little too tight. So this one here gets an MR85. I just don't want to go in there, so I'm going to give them a little persuasion. Let's 
don't think it goes all the way through. So that should be good. Seven mil of PTFE tube should stick out from the bottom. I did not see that, so let's get my little cutting jig. A piece of PTFE. to cut it and measure it. All right. What is this? This piece I'll glue in later. It just slips right out right now. Make sure we're starting with a nice flat surface. This jig I got back, it's for cutting uh, cutting the PTFE for the V6 on the Prusa. But it works out great for pretty much everything else as well. Anytime I need to cut it and make it sure that it's flat. I've got a nice cutter I use for tubes on my uh, kegerator for gas and such. Makes it a lot easier. That is 7 mil. Right there. And get it to mark on there. There we go. All right, let's make sure that is good still. I don't think I got it pushed up in there, so I'm going to do it again. Well, maybe I did. Okay. Let's get that in there and we'll see. Seven mil, seven mil, all right. So I'm gonna take this out if I can. I don't have a Nice tool. Well, I can't grab it. There we go. I don't have a nice uh, countersink bit that'll work. So I just use my I just use one of my exacto uh, knives. Get in there and twist it. That way, it kind of chamfers that to help the plastic go in, the filament go in, just a little smoother as it's coming through this path, which I did not, I think I checked that, but let's try it, do it again, just to make sure. The LDO V0 kit came with a two mil drill bit, so that on these, if you don't have the clearance, which it doesn't look like I do, you can drill it out And make sure 
that your path is clean. Let's get a piece of filament that we can test and make sure that that path is clean. Thought I had one over there from where I was putting the stealth burner together. But I must have gotten rid of it. So just a piece of filament and goes in there looks like we're still a little tight at the bottom <laughs> now it goes through nice all right we'll get our PTFE back in here And we still go all the way through. Good. Okay. So now we'll have this piece here. Bad thing about having used this before is I'd already have the set screw on it and it uh, I don't believe will fit in there without it and I need to flip it anyway as soon as I can find the right bit to put in there Almost felt right. That one's too small. That's the right one. Maybe. It feels like it might be a little too tight. This is a uh, tank bond liquid grip. If I can get any out of here. This is uh, something to help with uh, the bit staying in the screw head, whether it's a Phillips head, socket, whatever type it is. Doesn't always work, but definitely worth a shot when you're uh, a little tight here. I just feel like I'm stripping this grub screw. I may have to use the other pieces anyway.
Two, I have to. I did use Loctite on these, okay. so that may well be all the problem is. Yeah, I have to pull that, but if I have to, I have to. Let's use the other kit. I did use Loctite on these, so that may well be all the problem is. This is the one that came with. So let's use the other kit. And it's uh, not just for the this is the one that it came with. Five. And it's uh, not just for the mini afterburner, but also the full the size. Two. White lithium grease. Bring that through. One part of this is not overdoing it. Way too easy to wait to go with White lithium grease. Too easy to wait to go over. There we go. All right. Nice and smooth there. That'll self center. Loose, it won't go on there, so we go that way in and that way in. Looks like it is uh, flat, it's too tight, so bring it out just a little bit. I don't want it so loose, but it's not loose, it won't go on there, so we go that way in and that way in. Looks like it is, if it's flat, it's too tight, so bring it up just a little bit. Okay. Well, still too loose.
Take it down a bit better. There we go. Okay. And you just slide it around. We'll, I'll no. mess with that here in a minute. Still too loose. that in there and the next part is a real fun part that is getting the fans installed this is the DLL PDF kit uh, Jake Uh, it's dllpdf.com. Uh, when I bought it a few months back, they were the only one with a kit. Uh, nobody else, everything else would have been self-sourced. Uh, I know Deep Fried Hero .in has a kit coming. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if there's others out there. I think uh, Fabrico has one as well now. I think everybody's trying to move into some of these little tiny printers, so not a bad thing. This is the 160 version. Uh, a 150, 160, something like that. Let's see. Now to put the fans in. I did not care for this part when I did the did my V zero build. Uh, a one fifty, one sixty, something like that. Does show. First one, and then the. I did not care for this part when I did the one next. Okay, so here's this. Did my V zero build? In. Here's the this fans. This one's the easy one. The other one's easy. It's that last fan. Does that's show. Just a royal pain to get in there. First one, and then the tolerances are pretty. Okay, so here's this. Pretty close on these. That is going in. This one's like the easy one. one. The other one's in. easy. It's that it's last easier. fan that's. Just a royal pain to get in there. There we go. Now it's in there. And it spins. Tolerances Always check to make pretty, sure it spins when you're building pretty these. Pretty close on these. I had uh, a couple that didn't want to spin. Once they got in, they were just like too this tight. This one is not in. You can see here. There we go. Now it's in there. And it's sure that you follow what it shows here for the wires, or they. I had uh, a couple that didn't got a want to spin once they got in. They were just too tight. Table. I'm hoping I've got another one of these just in case. Is that just? I don't know if that's going to reach. Okay, so this does not make look sure like that it. you follow what it shows here for the wires, or they won't go. This one's got a tiny little. Cable. I'm hoping I've got another and one of these. And I do not case. have another one, so hopefully I've got the part that's just, fixed. I don't know that if that's going to reach. It does not look like it. Four wire. I don't know if I've got the uh, part fixed in that. If not, I will just have to order another. And I do not have another one, so. Hopefully I've got the parts an fixed in that cable. And it should just snap This is in. a four oh, wire. I don't know if I've got the uh, parts the cables fixed up this in little, that. There's a tiny little If not, I will just have to order right another there. Uh, fan for this. Let's see, put it in at an angle. This one is the real fun one, and I and broke a couple of snap fans. In. Doing and there it goes. 
for I've, I've got extras of these. And you run the cables up this little, there's a tiny little spot for cable management there. This one is the real fun one, and I broke a couple of fans doing this. So I've, I've got extras of these. Uh, it's still not quite in there. And these have to go in in this order because of the cabling. Uh, it's still not quite in there. And these have to go in in this order because of the cabling. Put my glasses on so I can see in there. We are way too far out. Fans are crushing each other. I don't know if you can see this or not. So, can just barely kind of make out this fan. They're overlapping there. So, trying hey, too far out to get it pushed Fans in there. Crushing each other. Push it no. away and down at the same if time. You can see this. Or not. So I think this is what the barely mini kind of make out this fan. They're overlapping there. there so six. Trying to get it pushed in there. There's this fiddly part of this. Push it away thing. and down at the same time. I think this is what the mini stealth burner is supposed to help fix. This fan doesn't even want to spin. It's this fiddly part of this. Which is not good. Pop it out and see. And that's what happened last time was I broke that one right out of there. Like this fan doesn't even want to spin. I don't think this was going to work well with this cable anyway. It's not good. So I'm going to have to order new fans. So let's just get the rest Pop of it, it out together and without see. the hot end fan. And then when I get more fans. And that's I'll what happened last time. I broke that one right, one right out of there. Better. Or maybe the mini stealth burner will be done. I don't think this was going to work. At least well we can show the, anyway. the process of it. So I'm going to have to order new fans. So. Let's just get the rest of it sure together without the hot end fan. The wires up with that little cable. And when channel. I get more fans, I'll uh, put it back. The, I'll pull it and put it back together. Or maybe the mini stealth burner will be done by then. At least we can show the the build process. Well, maybe. Hey, let me check and make sure. And again, you want to make sure you. Is that better? For some reason the camera mic was on too. There we go. So now I can get that in there. Of course, I'll have to do it all again once I get the other fans. I'll just, I think I'll just have to order a handful of those. I think they're 40 tens. So that's in. I do have the mosquito? Is it the mosquito or dragonfly? For this one, and it says it needs M two point five by six, which I think came in the kit with the Dragonfly, if I remember right. Those are eights. Those I don't think are the right ones. 
much. All right. Uh. And it's only two of them that go in there. I have it to where my heater is going to go to the back of the checked on my V0 and that was how I had it set. This will also help me uh, figure out where the CAN bus board is going to go. So I'm just going to ream these holes out a little bit. And that way I don't have to uh, cut through the plastic with the screw. Just makes a mess everywhere. Now the kit did not come with the electronics. I ordered those separate along with the tool or the hot end, few other pieces, the actual build plate. It did come with the, it did come with the heat bed, the heater and the bed, but not the actual build plate itself. So I did have to get those separate. So it wasn't all encompassing, but it was the vast majority of the things that you might need. And that I've got a Revo Voron to use when they uh, update to V0.2. Because that should be supported in there. These are too long. See if I've got the right length. Those are eight. All right, I thought that it came with them. Fours and eights. There's some sixes. All right, make sure my bit fits. Make sure these will fit. These may not be the right lawns. I may not even get this done. We may have to move on to other things. If, uh, if I can't build this, I don't have two and a half. Let's 
see if it might have came with the uh, kit. I don't see two and a halfs over there. I see two by six, but I don't think that's the right size. No. All the rest are threes, two by 10 self taps. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to pull it apart anyway, so let's just put it in. Get it mounted. That'll help me figure out how I'm going to cut the wires to do the tool head board as well. millimeters of that won't hurt while it may not pull it up it's a it's still in there pretty decent I wouldn't want to print with that loose but if I need to I can always shim it all right so those are all in The orientation they do say even in here the heater block must point backwards okay so now we'll get this one in here might have to try to find a Something smaller to fit in there. I think that's what I used on the other two when I did the V zero. Clean it up a bit. <laughs> well, it does not want to press in there. Yeah. Maybe. Be a little too tight. Let's see if I've got a reamer of the right size. Looks like it might be an eight mil. Okay, that looks at least decent. See, they say that much. That's way too short. That's not going to fit down in there.
Yeah, I was really hoping Stealth Burner Mini would have been out before I had to attempt this. And I'm not sure what hot end they are recommending in the build that might just be a dragon and not a dragonfly. to get an idea how much it needs to be. Looks like, say, 13. That one probably missed a lot of what I just did due to the camera being the wrong, went the wrong way. So this one, you can see the good bit shorter. It wasn't reaching down into the dragonfly. So that one should reach down there. I think it needs to be all the way down, but I still like to get it there anyway. Or maybe it just doesn't. Mm 
Maybe it doesn't need to go all the way down in there. Okay, that doesn't seem to be right. Seems to be lined up with that. As soon as I push the shaft in there, it pops out. Well, it says I need three thirty-fives. Three M three by thirty-fives. He's going in here. That should help with the alignment. This goes on the middle one. I had a satisfying click. I don't think it's supposed to have yet. Let me 
squeeze that out a bit. There we go. Still catching a little, but not too bad. All right. Once that's together. This does say insert at an angle, push into place. So that looks like it's wanting that longer PTFE. Just don't trust this. Hey, 3D experiments. The screen's behind me if I don't catch something in chat, guys. So not as easy to see when it's back there. Insert at an angle. That's out of the way. There we go. Now to get that one last one through there. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's, I am just outside of Nashville on the southeast side, Jace. Uh, so, spent uh, all morning at Crockett Park playing disc golf this morning in the heat. All right, so looks like we have moved the screws uh, forward, pushed it in, got that inserted at an angle, push the screws back, Let's see if we can get this back piece on, make sure I put it on the right way. All right, so that's in there, that's good. This piece goes in. Okay, so this is gonna go in here. And it's calling for M3 by 30s. Go here and here. Make sure to grab the right one. Move over to uh, this thing. I'm in there, right? 
don't think so. Air steps show to put the retention in after. A little tiny grub screw there. Get this. All right. There we go. Now that's working like it should. Even my V0, that's a little tight. There we go. Snaps in. So now we have thumb screw in. Check for binding. And the drive gear. Yeah, that's really tight. Uh, this is very, very tight. I can't, I can barely move it. Oh, there it moves now. It doesn't feel like it's fully snapped in there. When it's fully in there, it's binding on something. Not much better if I pull it out. And now it's moving. It's definitely binding on something in there. I'm going to have to pull this all apart anyway, so I may just get it together and leave it. I'll not worry about it too much because I still have to, I'll have to get that fan ordered and get it in. So let's just get it together. And I will worry more about how it works once I get those other pieces back in and maybe I'll get lucky and V0.2 will be out with Stealth Burner Mini and I won't have to mess with this one.
and that should not be threading into anything. I think it's just this piece too tight. Actually, now it's not binding. Until I try to close it, maybe I got this too tight. Okay, it's still a little tight, but... Since I got to pull it apart anyway, I'm not going to worry about it too much. The clearance looks good. Let's see. Well, now it wants me to put this on anyway, so I have to pull it off. This I'm going to have to wait until I get the belt done. So rather than move on to that, let's move this out of the way because this is the part for the belts. And... Let's see. Put that over there. This part for the belt mount on like that. And then this will mount to it there. All right. That'll go on when we pull up the printer. Let's move on to uh, this, oh, this is zero filter kit. So zero filter is the little filter I've got. I don't have a TPU gasket. I don't have any TPU. Well, I've got TPU. I'll have to look and see if they've got an STL for it. Uh, or if it's just a piece of TPU. I've got, I think, orange. Nobody will ever see it. And I don't even see... So I see they've got magnets in just to there. anything all right looks like it's pretty much straightforward so I have three by six magnet I wonder if they're just going to be press fit or if I'm going to have to, probably going to have to super glue because those seem to be really quick to go in there. It's 
Sometimes though they go in without a problem and they'll stay in, but, and it's not like I'll need to pull this off too often. Hopefully, anyway. It says it holds up to 14 grams of carbon, so that should work out pretty good. I got bought like a pound of the stuff for my never more in the 2.4 so this will should work out pretty nicely there we go only pulled one out that's not too bad and then the fan I mean this is just quick and simple the fan just snaps right in they show the gasket here. That does look like, like just a piece of filament. So I should just be able to wrap a piece of TPU around it. Color shouldn't matter. Well, that was uh, real quick. That's basically that other than the uh, having the media in. That was uh, nothing. <laughs> Let's see. So we're basically done with that one. Mini afterburner. Let's do this display real quick. I don't think I left it up here. I don't see it, so let's do it real quick. It's pretty straightforward. Let's see if the piece is done and if it looks better. And I printed out one of the other unclicky bits some more of these I think I'm going to want to do the teal rather than the dark blue for those and then this doesn't look any better seems to be peeling up in the corners I put mouse ears on but didn't help so we'll go with this one so this one I don't know why my ES15 just loves to hold on to bits. They show 12s going through here. I thought I reamed this one out. Need to check some settings. I just put that stealth burner and clockwork two on, so my V2 was dialed in, and now I kind of need to work on it a bit more. Get that get it dialed back in with the new extruder.
don't know if I want to do that. Well, I'll put it on and then I might have access to those. It says two three by sixes for these. Hopefully I can find something to do that touch screen because uh, I'm liking the touch screen I've got on my 2.4 uh, running clipper screen. It's, it isn't needed. A display is not needed at all, but it's so nice to be able to use a screen, whether it's one of these or a touch screen for loading and unloading filament while I'm sitting at the printer. Rather, even if it is three, four feet away, five feet away, it's still a lot easier to do it on that touch screen than it is to mess with it on the uh, interface on the desktop and then to go over there and change, you know, unload and then have to come back and hit the button on the desktop and run back and forth it's so much easier just to do it all from right there and like my v0 is in the other room so i have to do it either with my laptop uh, or tablet or something else right now because i don't have a screen on it i just put one on today and it something fried my raspberry pi So I've got to wait until I get uh, a new Raspberry Pi before I can do anything with it. Uh, it said 12s, but those do not seem to be making it through far enough. Let's try a 16 then. Or oh, hell, I got a 14. Let's try a 14. Don't need to go overkill. Don't go overkill. And this one just does not want to let go of this bit. See, it's twisted in the socket. That grabs, so let's use 14s. Probably twisted in there from the impact. I don't remember them having a spacer, but it seems a little loose in there. Even with that on. Okay, there's the display. Well, 
want to lose a little tiny grub screw. Let's see where we're at. That display was in this uh, remix here. And you can see the heat sets in both of these. This will fit in the center at the front on the salad fork, so that worked out good. Yeah, they don't show a spacer. And don't see a spacer in there, but it's not m wiggling around anymore. So that's good. Let's get rid of that one. And do the belts. Get this stuff out of the way. And we can do the belts. Let's see if I can get it at a... Nice angle. To see the belts. That might be... Easier said than done. At least this thing's not quite as heavy as some of the others. I still got to do the sex bolt. So, still looks like I might be a little racked. Let's loosen these up. I can get it direct before I go throwing belts on. And I think this side here has the limit switch, so it's going to stick out a bit more anyway. It's like three millimeters. And we're... Three millimeters there, so let's
busy watching to make sure it wasn't racked at the back and didn't realize that it was uh, off like that for that switch. So used to my 2.4 where I can move the gantry up and down. Okay. Now for the real fun, right? Running some belts. So they gave me one long length. And I bet I did that wrong too. That is supposed to be on the top or on the side, not on the bottom. So that's not good. Other than the preload screws, this shouldn't be too awful bad. Our preloaded nuts shouldn't be so bad to do this. It's never fun to have to pull something apart once you get it all together.
doesn't want to come out. All right, so I need two on this end. And then one underneath. Pretty sure I did this when I first put it on anyway. Make it a little easier to get these bottom ones lined up. go guess I probably could have done the same with the top as well this shouldn't be too bad. This method worked out really well when putting uh, a lot of these together the first time. My little Allen wrenches are magnetic. So that helps a lot. It's just not nice having to go through and read, pull the whole thing out.
a couple of these. They sent a whole lot extra. I'm guessing the uh, eight three by tens are one of them. There seems to be a ton more in there than uh, than what I've needed so far. All right, so it's all the way down and out of the way. Wouldn't hurt while I'm doing belts to have it out of my way anyway. Not on one of these screws is ferrous. Now there was a, at least a short detour. There we go. All right. Well, I've got this down here. Let's do this one. And all I got to do on here is take this piece off. Do not think that these are screws are in the right place for the other one. And it doesn't have the nice slots to do that with. I should be able just to move them into place. Deal with non fair screws for this.
Uh, it looks like it might be easier just to I have to take the display off to do this, but I think I might be able to get it in there. It's a bit tight, but it looks like it worked. And the Skirts aren't quite the same. Different, two different repos, but that's not that big a deal. Well, at least that one fits. All right, let's get this direct. If it's not already. We can get the belts done. What size do we call four? Three by eight. Maybe I'll 
they'll thread in. It looks like they will. Okay, good. So let's get just barely started and Sure, I know how the belts go through here first. It might help. May not even need these in there to hold it. It seems pretty tight on there. We're going to go in uh, here. That comes up. And you just wrap it around. I'm gonna make sure it's tight. Let's get a handful out. One in right here just to hold the belt while I run it. All right, and the fun begins. So now we've got a belt. Make sure I got it on the right one, the top. Top. All right. Get this done. We'll call it a night. Okay, so I got it secured on here. And I'm going to pull all this excess belt. chair out of the way a little bit through here Here she's on the idler well. All right. A lot of belt to pull around. And then teeth facing in. Hopefully this will flip through and it doesn't look like it. Give it a bend and see if that might help. This was a bit of a pain on the other one as well. There we 
go. Need a little help. Okay. Be a lot better once I get less belt. Okay. goes in and around and kind of bend it so maybe it'll run its way through there. Get a lot of back of my head here. If I can get it through here. Try that. brought it to the bottom maybe I can get hold of it well enough to pull it through there we go well I got it around there And go around the bottom and get out the side.
Okay. There we go. Now we should be able to walk it up onto the pulley, hopefully. I don't have a twist. Certainly felt like I did, and it looks like I did. And this one is straightforward, just around, straight up, through the idler, and back down to the head. All right. Give this a bend, so maybe it'll... Go through easy.
make sure that we're all on the our guides and our idlers correct. Looks like we are. And I went through the wrong one. I didn't need to go through that one. I'm getting ahead of myself again. Well, that'll help me when I do need to go through that one. So we just go here. And then through here. Way too much stuff on my table, I guess. There we go. Now, on our idlers. And I will cut a decent amount extra here. That way, and it's not a whole bunch, but it should be enough now to pull it all out of here. Loosen up my screw. So I'll probably just need to take this off again. There we go. And we want this belt and this belt to be the exact same length. Tooth for tooth, all the way down. And this one to where it's right at the tooth like the other. Use one of these little uh, document clips to hold that. And that should be identical in length. Well, it doesn't pop out. Okay, so our lengths are good. 
Now we get to feed it back through there all over again. And I like to go on one side and start them both at the same length on same teeth on the one side. That way when I go around it's a lot easier to keep them in the right spot. With the way this clamps that might be a little different uh might need a little different tactic since it's clamped straight to that block on the rail. Okay, and I still have a good bit of a uh, belt there. Missed an idler. Go this way first. Well, I missed the back one. Got to make sure it hits all the idlers. There we go.
would be fine if I just got it to come out this side over here. That'll let me uh, push it in the correct way. Any of these small builds, I expect something to be a bit fiddly. Okay, put on the right idlers, and we're good. Okay. Now to run this other one. Okay, and we're still good there. Right, so it's as far forward as it goes. Side here to make sure I get on that idler. All right, and we've got that done. So one here uh, looks like I went backwards on them but as long as they're the same length it doesn't really matter okay so this one goes in this way bend it and see if I can make it around that gear without having to pull it out and through but no nope, that's not going to happen
Okay. Okay, one more to go and bolt them up. There we go. Make sure we're on our idlers. All front, back, left, right, whatever. And we should be, somehow we're still off. So one of them is not where it needs to be. Okay. And that is right there. Good. Okay. See they got any tips in here on that. So they've cut the identical length. I've got them in the right length. So it says leave at least one centimeter on each side. I don't think I've got quite a centimeter over here. But if there's that much room, that's easy enough to do. Let's pull these out. I am on the war on Discord, Jace. Uh, I am on as, uh, pushing plastic on there as well. I changed my name to make sure that it was the same as my channel. Uh, and I'm also, when I watch Steve's, Steve builds, or when I watch Nero 3D streams, I'm on there as pushing plastic and try to say hello to everybody when I'm there, try to interact a bit, uh, some days more so than others. I work from home, so I do get to uh, kind of watch as I'm uh, working, which is nice. I don't do a lot on the Discord. I'm not a fan of Discord. Uh, I prefer old-fashioned... Uh, the old-fashioned uh, forums a little bit more uh, than the whole stream of consciousness kind of thing but I can see the use in both so when I need something on I'll, I'll a lot of time pop onto discord or reddit and and ask questions if I need it uh, 
most of what I've had to ask has been answered pretty quick or um, I've gotten from the streams uh, from either Steve or Nero, one of the two. Okay, so those look good on that side. So I'm just making sure my lengths are good here. Tighten this side down a little bit just so I can make sure my lengths are good on the other side. Double check and make sure I'm running through my idlers like I'm supposed to. Those lengths are good. And those lengths are now good. Now before I tighten those up, let's tighten up belts as best I can. Now I've got the belts are even on both sides. I've got a little tension in them so that when I do tension them I won't have to tension quite as much. I'm going to do this over here. See if I can get... No, maybe not. Uh, we'll just deal with it. I'll have to tighten the... These are loose as they can be anyway. So they should be good. Probably not strictly necessary to do a cross pattern tight, but habit from other lines of work. Oh, thanks, Chase. <laughs> Jace, uh, I'll check the uh, discords in a bit. So, I didn't just realize. All right, so I've got belted up and looking at it. I don't see any movement on that uh, carriage when I'm moving just the axis up and down or just a tiny bit. So we're good. Feels good there. My belt paths are good. I'm not going around plastic. Let's trim this up here. I uh, say about a centimeter. Uh, may go a little longer than that. Make sure they're even. All right, belts are good. So let's go back to this one. And we will get the two M2 by 10 self tappers. M2 by 10 self tappers. Okay. 
Okay. This is going to be this piece here. And this way. Up it that way, and then let's get these in. Sit up there. the right bit in and maybe I'll be able to turn this thing. I haven't had any problems with these self-tappers. They've all been pretty Pretty good. I've had some self tappers that just strip out so quick and easy, and these seem have seemed so far to be pretty good once you get the right bit in there. Which is not a Phillips head, which I'm so used to on self tappers. That same star bit as what most of the rest of the, uh, with well, all the other screws in this uh, kit have been or have been uh, star bits, and that's what the uh, Weha little tools that it it came with these little Weha wrenches that have been really good overall. I'm perfectly fine using stars, either star bits or hex bits rather than Phillips head anyway. They tend to do a better job. Uh, so we've got that bit on. I'm not going to worry about mounting the tool head because I've got to get the new fan for the front. Okay, so we have got mini afterburner. I still have to do clicky. Uh, electronics are mounted, skirts are done. So I got to do clicky, wiring, and all the panels. I printed out the panel pieces, and I think I may be, uh, I might do a different panel set. I think I might do the, the magnetic ones because I really like that on my 2.4 being able to pop my sides off if I want to print PLA or or something that does not need a heated chamber so this is ready I'll get this mounted in there the right way goes that way so that'll look kind of nice I uh, also need to get the right screws for the uh, dragonfly hey maybe i'll get lucky and 0 0.2 will be out <laughs> and i can get that uh the after or the stealth burner instead so let's see let's do this one that's that one so and you can see here belts are about the same or are the same length on both sides there and uh ever so slight movement when you push it fore and aft so that's not bad got that done got that done there was a call out in here i think it was under 
Either belts or wiring. Yeah, to put cable tie downs on the right extrusion, right side of the extrusion, the rear extrusion. So that'll be here on this. So let's do two of those. And this will hold the umbilical that goes up to the here to be tied in and then over, of course, to the hot end. I said the right side. Uh, I'm going to guess because you're going to have the Z chain, uh, the chain coming out of here for the bed. All right, so those are in. And it says on the on the here on the wiring it does say to follow the standard trident wiring. Let's do one last thing before ending. Let's put that down there. And let's put this thing together. So this is the sex bolt. I have one of these in my, uh, I have one of these in my 2.4 as well. Uh, I really like it over the standard uh, Z end stop and kit I got came with the with the little board all it is is you take these here and slip them down into the hole like so And they should be all the way down now. So there's a little bit that sticks out the top there. This goes in. You got a screw that goes in. Get the right size Allen key. And then that just tightens down. And then you can kind of fine tune. That's as tight as it that is it'll go. And then this will slide in. And then when it comes down, it just clicks right off of that. There is a unclicky version of this as well. Uh, I have not messed with it. It did come with these little uh, M10s. I'm actually, well, these aren't even 10, 10s. These are 2x8s, it looks like. Yeah, 2x8s. Instead of the standard M2x10 self threaders. And we'll just get this in. These things seem to uh, strip easier than those ones that are the star bit. But the nice thing is, once you get this together, you probably won't have to take it apart. I can't tighten it up anymore to get uh, to get less travel there. So.
This stuff didn't seem to last too awful long. Feels like it's got sand or something in there to kind of fill it out. So I got it tightened down. Still a little left. That's the wrong size. wrong I still got to get that bit out of there it's, you can see I think it's just a little it, it's twisted just a little bit in that holder all right well there's that It's not particularly straight, but that mounts, I think, to the bed extrusion, so it doesn't need to be perfectly flat. And then it'll give me my clicks. Okay. So was that one follow the trident I'll need this open so that I can reference it again when I get that fan in I'll worry about uh, I still haven't decided if I'm gonna do unclicky or clicky uh, here's the zero filter I think I'll link throw links to this uh, zero filter into the description along with the skirt all right well I'm gonna call it there guys uh, about time for dinner anyway uh, getting uh, almost seven o'clock not too bad almost almost three hours I'm I don't know if I'll do the seven hour marathon like steve did yesterday but we'll uh we'll see <laughs> one day maybe but uh, not quite yet so i'll put the links to this uh skirt remix that had the uh the only stls i used out of it for the display were the display front and back housing and then the middle uh, piece of the skirt here won't be able to see that once the uh, with the display on you can't see it so let's put it back there and then I'll put the zero filter uh, link as well in there uh, it does have a mount you can see here that you mount to the uh, extrusion on here, I don't know where I'm going to mount that. If I do it under the bed, maybe, so that it can pull pull hot air off of the underside of the heater uh, and help recirculate it. That's how I've got the Nevermore set up in my 2.4. So maybe that'll be a, a way to do that. And uh, But I'll put this, this link along with the Skirt Remix link in the description. If I ever do find the... Uh, a good way or learn how to model well enough to do the touch screen and get it on here I will also put it on the description so here's the
printer as she sits currently. Uh, lighting for some uh, lighting isn't good because I didn't turn the other light on. Let's see if that helps. Even if it's just for a moment. There we go. So at least how she sits for the time being. Uh, we do have the hot end will go on. Uh, I did not mess with that, but I do have, I just saw it, there it is, the uh, EB36, so this will go on standoffs right behind the motor, which will go in here and give us our access. Uh, I do have a small little jumper cable someplace to take this end from the thermistor to the end uh, on here that the thermistor will be. So that'll go on somewhere right around there. And the tool head board will go here. And this is a CAN board. So it'll take, uh, I'll only have to run four wires total to the board, two for power, the, your positive and negative, and then a signal transmit and a signal receive. Uh, so that'll be nice. No need to run 14 different cables or wires up to the, up to the hot end. I had it working on the bench. So we'll see how well it works once we get it in practice. All right, guys. Well, I will uh, see you in the next one. Thank everybody for watching. Uh, and you all enjoy the rest of your days.